Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and for preserving my life. God has done so many things for me. Um, it dates back many years, several years, but I'll just try and summarize the main points. Um, firstly, there's a project that I've been working on for quite some time, and it was quite challenging putting the funds together, but the end of last year, December, God supernaturally provided for me. And Thank I was you, able Jesus. To complete the project. I give him all the praise and all the glory. Amen. Secondly, um, I want to thank God for the things that we do in this church that appear silly. Um, an example is the seven shouts of hallelujah and the three shouts of thank you, Jesus. Another example is the dance we have with pastor at the end of the service. Last year, December, I had a domestic accident at home. The cupboard in my kitchen, it's about from here to there, the overhead cupboard just fell out without prior warning, without any indication, it just fell. My housekeeper was in the kitchen, thank God, she wasn't hurt, but I just imagined if we were in the kitchen cooking, because it destroyed the, the stove top, destroyed the microwave oven, she was right there in the kitchen. My daughter also likes to play in the kitchen. Thank I want you, to thank Jesus. God that that accident did not hurt anybody. Thank you, Jesus. Give him all the praise. Yes, Lastly, I want to give God the glory for my health. Um, for the past year and a half, I've been having some challenges with my health. I started having symptoms that I didn't understand. Um, so the doctor advised that I come in for some tests and I did a next scan and the next scan showed that I had cervical spondylosis. I've never been able to pronounce that thing. It was the day pastor was preaching here and he mentioned it. I said, okay, so this is how to pronounce this thing. And I just kid in that day and said, the same God that healed pastor has to heal me because I'm not about to start wearing a neck brace and taking medicine and all that. And I give God all the praise that he did it. Thank you, Jesus. After, Thank you, Lord. After I did the next scan and the doctor said, this is what it is. He asked me to go and do some more tests to rule out the worst case scenarios. So I did blood tests, I did an MRI scan for my head because it started with headaches on the right and then a numbing sensation on the left side of my body, my face, my arm and my legs. So I want to give God praise also. Last Sunday, pastor mentioned that case and said there's somebody here, you have tingling sensation in your hands and legs. It was the left side of my body. I want to give God praise that since that Sunday, Pastor prayed for me. Since that Sunday, you, Jesus. I have not had ah, that episode of numbing. I haven't had the pain on the right side of my head. I just want to give God all the praise. Thank you, Lord. I did a further blood test to confirm what the doctor thought he saw. Because one of the blood tests came out positive for lupus or something. So he said, go and do another test just to rule it out. I said, Pastor, I'm going to, uh, Doctor, I'm going to do this test, but let me tell you, this is the last test I'm doing. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. So I did that test, and to God be the glory, the worst that the doctor was hoping to confirm came out negative. Thank you, Lord. I just want to give God praise, and I just want to give God all the glory. And I prophesy over my life that because I have testified, I have overcome. Amen. And affliction will not rise a second time. Amen. And I prophesy on the church that those things that we do here that appear silly and foolish, that God will use it to confound the wise in our lives. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.